What's up guys, tall as fuck here with another video today and today our topic is how to succeed in your early days, young days, in your mid 20s, 20s to 30s in between. So wanted to give you guys some advice, um, my own personal input on what I have learned in the last couple of years of my life because I am currently 26 years old and you know, um, not a lot of people have anything figured it out, what they want to do in life, how to, you know, pursue things and where to start for the most part. So um, up until I would say this year, to be honest, um, I didn't know what I wanted to do, um, how to push myself, how to make good money. And I'm going to give you guys my two cents so you guys don't wind up in that little hole, you know, where you just don't know what you want to do with yourself. Like, this is mainly for people that didn't really go to school or can't afford it or just didn't think school was for them. So, you know, um, these last couple of months, you know, I've had some reality checks. I've been pushed, whatever, shoved, and um, just had a lot of time to think about myself and what I want to do in life. So... I've just learned that if you guys didn't take the route of school, your best bet was to just figure out how to do hustles, hustle, push yourself, overstep your boundaries and, you know, um, just figure out what you want to do in life. And it's hard. It's not an easy path. And a lot of people are stuck in this, you know, dark place where they just don't know what they want to do. So you know, as for me, I've always had this mentality when I was younger, you know, just have one job and just kind of, you know, do the bare minimum, make whatever money, help my parents and just not really push myself to my true potential. And um, in these last couple of months, I've just like, I went from working one job to working two different jobs. And um, also doing a third job. So I'm doing a little side gig uh just doing video editing for people on the side and just making a little extra bucks and you know um that's what i've learned in life you have to have multiple side hustles you know i it was always in front of me you know i had an older sister who pushes herself and does she's literally doing like five different things at once you know real estate she's um selling things on the side like not drugs but just like bags and stuff and stuff that's legit it's not like illegal and um she's just doing a lot of extra stuff on the side and you know um that's how you gotta do it man you just you 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 gotta figure out your passions like if you feel like oh you're good at you know selling water bottles buy a lot of water bottles go on the side of the freeway and just sell them or you know go to the park and sell them like stuff like that you know do multiple side hustles and you can't just do one thing and say, Oh, I'm good. Come home and just be lazy, smoke weed, play video games. You can still do all that, but just like figure out how to make extra money and eventually set little goals, set little things for yourself, like a path or a goal. Tell yourself, look, I want to do this. This is my plan in the next month. Set small goals. They don't even need to be big ones. They don't need to be long term, but small goals that will eventually lead up to a bigger path. And, you know, um, for example, purchasing brand new Jordans for a normal price, eventually selling them down the line for a more expensive price and just do multiple things like that. So on top of my two jobs that I'm doing, I'm doing my side gig, which is video editing for people through Instagram. And on top of that, I'm working on my YouTube channel every day after I come home from work directly, making content for you guys, live streaming. Live streaming isn't really my passion, but I am just personally trying to hit my watch time hours so I can get monetized and then we'll start expanding to posting more and more content and videos. That's why I don't know if you guys have noticed, I've been starting to do live streams more often actually only live streams to be honest i think one out of 10 videos are going to be actual posts but um that's just how you got to do it and it's like ever since i started hustling in my life i purchased a brand new you know 1300 dollars computer which was originally 1600 got my whole new setup my green screen my microphone 
a brand new monitor, brand new, you know, headset. And it's like, yeah, you're going to be tired, but that's life. You're going to be tired always, you know, but at least make yourself tired for a good purpose. Not yourself tired from smoking weed and eating food. It's like, it's not going to get you anywhere. You just got to keep pushing yourself, keep hustling, finding side hustles. At one point I was doing car rentals, you know, I was renting out a car with my friend. We both got a car and we rented it out and we were making money, you know? So it's like, you got to keep thinking of side hustles, you know, get another job. Even if it's like, even if it's like, okay, you're not making as good money as you want. You're still making extra money. That stuff adds up. It builds character. It makes you a harder worker. People look at you and eventually they'll be like, damn, this guy hustles. Good things will come out of that. It'll eventually add up and people will look at you and be like, yeah, this guy grinds. He deserves to be, you know, respected and looked at like a strong individual mentally and physically. And, you know, I've learned one thing in life is that when you push hard and you be a good person, you will eventually things will work out. Things will work out in your favor. Might not happen in a month, might not happen in a year. Two years down the line, it'll pop off. Look at all these YouTubers, man. David Dobrik, for example. That guy posted stupid videos when he was young. You know, he kept pushing. He kept grinding. He eventually grew. He exploded. He's at 18 million subs on one channel and like nine on the other. And he doesn't even make money from his channels, dude, because he has copyrighted music. He makes money from growing his name, making, creating businesses, um... Spons being sponsored by companies. He's a full-blown businessman and he sits on his ass and does nothing all day That's what you got to do. Like look at him. He made all these little sponsorships and everything Now he owns businesses now. He has people that work for him and do all the work for him You, ju you guys just got to figure out how to expand your name and you know expand yourself You know start off with something small get three part-time jobs two part-time jobs side gigs selling stuff on the side that's how you do it. That's how you grow. That's how you expand, you know, whatever you can do to push yourself. And the more that you push yourself, the more you experience, the more you experience, the more people you meet, the more people you meet, the more you grow. Who knows? You meet somebody that's big in an industry. He'll look at you and be like, you're a smart guy. You're a wise guy. You're a hard worker. I like you. I want you to work for me. Boom. There you go. YouTube. You make yourself grow. You keep being consistent. You keep posting stuff. You know, you be funny. I don't know, whatever. Be ugly. I don't know. But anything will work out. And, you know, all these YouTubers, you think they all started big right away? 90% of them didn't. You know, like Nick Merckx took him time to just pop off. And eventually he did. Now the guy's hitting three point something million subs. He just grew out of nowhere, you know? So it's like, that's all you got to do. But anyways, um anybody has any questions about this topic i know this video is kind of long but i tried to give you guys my two cents on you know how to grow as a person and just hustle and make money and you know eventually explode i know i'm not there yet honestly i'm not even close i'm still at 750 subs but one day i'm gonna keep grinding and grinding and grinding and eventually one day it'll be my time to just keep a positive head keep hustling keep grinding keep growing keep loving and keep being the best person you can be that's all that matters. You know, don't be negative. Don't be miserable. Don't bring yourself down. Just push yourself. Push yourself and be an amazing person. Don't let anyone change you. And forget relationships and all that shit. That shit will eventually come on its own. There's no rush for any of that. The hustle and the grind is where it's at. You know, the rest, the fun and all that stuff will eventually fall into place on its own. You know, but build your character while you're young so that in the future... You will be relaxed and comfortable. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this pep talk. Sorry it was 10 minutes long, but um, so be it. I had a lot to say. So as usual, guys, stay close in 1993 and have a beautiful day. Later, guys.